Okay, 10 0. And as usual, let's just push through the center. What? Okay. So let's grab. It's not a special game, but it's it's allowing us to get maybe two tempo up. But I'm not going to take advantage of it. I'm just going to make sure I get King's safety. Give my King some company, keeping it as basic as possible. So I'll just bring the Bishop out. Bishop here, get the king some company, hopefully get the knight here, landing it here. If they're doing stuff like this, which is kind of taking our attention away from that for a moment, I mean it's tempting to do all of this type of stuff, but I'm going to just simply take the pawn. So you know our plan, we want to get to king's safety. We've got an x-ray through to their queen. So we could hit the knight, or we could hit the knight with the pawn, smaller piece. Where are we sending the knight to? No, nope. just comes back to safety. Then we can get the queen off the board and maybe get the 20 pointer, which means the king can't castle, we think. So smaller piece attacking the higher piece. Let's see how that goes. Oh, it's not going very well. So we can take the knight. So we'll be a minor piece up from the exchange. Yep. So we'll take the knight. So maybe it is a special game after all. Didn't look like it was going to be special. And they're not looking to exchange the queen off. So they might still be method in the madness. I'm very... If we castled, then the queen can take the bishop. So we can bring the bishop here blocking. I think we'll do that. Don't want to overcomplicate it. So the king's still got company at the moment enough company to potentially go here. He may look to try and push this pawn. No, nope, still giving us something to think about. We can't go running taking this pawn because the queen is protecting. So we could come here, but being in front of the bishop sometimes, if we go on castle, uh, no. So we could just swing across and attack the queen. He drops the pawn, giving me something else to think about. I attack his king, he brings this pawn down attacking. Okay, let's do that because we've got the support of the bishop for now. So they're totally circumventing our safe idea of getting our king to safety. Luckily, the queen and the bishop can't get to the dark square to put a check on the king. So at this moment, it is safe. Or else I wouldn't have done this queen move. I would have gone and castled. So they've dropped one. So we can, like we said, go here. Give them something to think about. Opening up more space in front of the king. Where does our queen go? It could come here. But let's just bring it back, I suppose. I suppose he could bring his bishop and attack. Okay, let's just put the check on. Small incremental, yes, so they brought the bishop back and we're going to just bring our queen here. More pieces giving our king company when we get to castle. So that was the whole idea behind what we're trying to do, which is basically make sure the king is safe and it does have some company.
So they're still in the game, even though we've got the minor piece up. And they're targeting. Are they looking to castle on this, on the queen side? It is not clear. And what is clear is that it looks like they've left the game. that was a case of missing the tempo in terms of that night capture and then basically losing the night because of the x-ray through yeah, so it was this attack of the pawn here it looks good it looks good but sometimes even if you have lost a minor piece it doesn't mean you've lost the game and um, you still can try and find appropriate positions and keep the opponent on the toes and hoping that they make a mistake of some sort and then take advantage so it's not really over 10-0 let's support the pawn let's push the pawn supporting the pawn so it's 10 minutes so we do have time to think seeing as we're familiar with this type of um, position i think we'll go with we can can take the pawn um quite easily i think we'll take the pawn on this one i was going to just bring the bishop here let's bring the bishop and the support in the knight because if they take etc that all makes sense pretty basic so we can take the knight and it's almost like it's for free am i because that's not supporting but if we take the knight are they looking to bring the bishop here suppose we can then attack the bishop I don't like these positions but I'm going to take the knight it's on the queen uh, it's got a check on me but the queen can't do much damage by itself can it so we'll take and we could just go and support the knight with the pawn is there anything else or bring the knight back down just so that we're not overextending okay let's just support with the pawn for now <clears throat> this pawn can't get to it at the moment because the queen is stopping it bishop probably coming for a take but take back with the pawn but then the queen wins the pawn so we have to be careful with that rhythm and we haven't got space for castling apart from castling on the queen side so bishop's coming there Castle table opposite the queen. That's not really the position we want, is it? Knight can come down and attack the bishop. It's overworking the knight, isn't it? Let's get this knight out. Shh, let's get this knight out. It's got me leaning away from the screen, trying to... Hmm. No, some forky business. Bishop's protecting the pawn, Queen's protecting the pawn, so we could just attack the bishop. That's what it looks like to me, anyway. I don't think there would have been a problem taking because the bishop's still protecting the pawn from the queen. In my head, I'm thinking I need to get castled. There's a lot going on. There's no immediate attacks on the king at the minute. do not look like there's a direct attack, so don't need to panic too much about castling. But it's always at the front of my head. So, yeah, they've eventually come for this. And... Oh, yeah, they win the pawn. That's So we're going to take the pawn, and then we've got two pawns protecting here. That makes sense, yeah.
All right, the knight can move to attack the queen. Can move the bishop to go for king's safety, which is better. I think going for king's safety because there's a lot happening and I might lose out. Should we bring the bishop here protecting both of these? Or is that a bit of a problem? Because if we do bring it here, he does eventually have the rook maybe and if this knight goes then the bishop goes let's just bring it here and get to king's safety if we can knight's on the rim and he has brought it through because his rook is x-raying our queen can we bring this knight here So he takes, takes, no problems. Let's castle. King's safety, we've got that temple, I think. So we have options of attacking the pawn here, or we have options of not doing that. Um, moving the queen out of the way. Moving the queen out of the way towards the king's side. He's uh, stopping the knight from going there, so they're fearful of our knight. This knight can go here, but the queen is there at the minute. So we could attack a little pawn, which has got no protection on. Obviously, they're going to see that, so they'll drop. Gets it off the line, doesn't it? It's got space for the knight to come here. Then go to here, attacking the queen. <clears throat> Too many thoughts in my head at the minute, just nice and steady away. Basics. Struck down hitting the pawn, so he's trying to get rid of the pawns that are supporting the knight. So we could go here and get the queen. Could we have gone there before? Yeah, we could have done. Not then, but then when they castled we could have actually got the queen but they would have got our queen so moving the queen after that we've moved the queen and they've done this move oh the timing's right the timing's right excellent but it doesn't mean you've won the game just because you've won the queen but we've talked it through and feels quite good positionally it's not too bad for us i don't think and it looks like they've left the game. All right, claim victory on that one. That was really quite smooth. I did quite enjoy that one. But I really wanted it to go a little bit further. Practice uh, positional play. Try and play out some of these moves and stuff. Okay, good game. Okay, I'm 10 and 0. The queen is out. Let's see if we can maybe get the queen off the board. And let's attack. Taking the time so they want enough to develop their knight out. Oh, they're not. Excellent. Good stuff. So we'll capture. Capture again. This is dirt simplified. Let's just bring this bishop here, baiting the pawn maybe. Alright, let's develop the knight because they're looking to get the diagonal working. Let's support the pawn before this starts pushing. And he's looking to get the knight off the ball, but we do have a minor piece defending, so if they're looking to get the pawn off, um, we don't have a problem with that. So let's just bring the bishop here, supporting the knight. King safety. Shall we castle king side or queen side? I feel like a queen side defense. Only issue is, is that there's this op open file here, half open file. The problem I, I do have is like we go here, he might change his mind, bishop comes here. And then they're feeling quite strong. I'm gonna castle into the into the trouble. Let's take. Do we get to double their pawns in front of their king? Oh we do not, because he's attacking our bishop. If we take the pawn. Pawn still on the bishop, and if we 
take the knight, he takes our pawn, but then we bring our bishop back. So I'm going to take the knight. If he doesn't, then we can take the pawn with the bishop. Aha, uh -huh, we bring the bishop back. And we are on a dark square. Let's attack this pawn, give them something to think about. Hopefully we'll get time to double the rooks on this uh, file which we are looking to do so give them something to think about but the bishop is going to attack the rook that's fine still a bit of tempo for us i believe it's not actually done that all right i thought they would have done that so we're going to go here then his rook is yeah that's fine if his rook comes to the file we'll just bring this rook here so he's gone on defensive. Um, I'm not interested in these pawns. I'm interested in this side of the board. So he's kind of blocked his bishop out of the game. And I think that's a probably a valuable piece to try and protect the area. If we get it off. So one of the things is we could attack this rook here. The rook has to move and then we but they'll be attacking and coming down putting a check on will be okay i think so come here he moves we take the pawn he comes down with a check on the king we move up his over rook comes and puts a check on us he oh no I can't because the bishop's there so but um attacks the bishop but then we Hit the king, going backwards and forwards, blah, 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 blah. All right, something along them lines. Somehow we either get a draw or we get an advantage. I can't, ooh, he's going for the bishop already. You know, I didn't even see it like that, yeah. So if we took, then he takes, then we put a check on, then he bounces backwards and forwards so we could get a draw here could get a draw quite nicely shall we just go for the draw takes I think in these circumstances it is about practicing the draws as well even though so if we bring this back then he's just owning I think we could win it. I think there's an advantage. I'm going for the draw. I'm treating it like it's an over the board league match and I don't need to over press in any way. Let's just take the pawn and let's just put the check on the king. If they make a misstep, then we grab it, which would be that. So he's going to have to come back. Yeah. So if we go like this, it's a draw. It's only if they make a misstep on the back. Yeah. And let's put a check on again. So he's just going to keep going backwards and forwards here. Yeah, makes sense to me. Let's go for the draw. Let's just do an odd move that just looks like it's not going for a draw. And let's go here. Freefold. Freefold repetition. Yeah, excellent. So the, the decisions. It's going for a rematch. Okay, you know what rematches end up being. Let's focus. Okay, so this is the rematch. You know what re whoa, rematches are like. They're coming out blasting now, so they're come for the, looking for the quick and dirty tactic thing. So they're not going to put any four into the damn game. Right, okay. Let's go here. Yeah, they're trying to win the game dead quick and get it out of the way. Let's grab this. We're on this pawn. Let's just look at improving position. Let's attack this pawn because it's got the 
fork. Let's take the bishop off the board, keeping it dirt simple. I'm not really wanting to sit the bishop here because it's not really doing much. But it does give the bishop this. So I'm going to hit the center. Need to kind of maybe make some space around here because it looks like it's going to be a, a rook ending of sorts. Let's take. There's nothing behind the knight, but he is attacking our pawn. Might be time to bring the bishop here. At least it's doing something functional, supporting the pawn. And castle. So try not to get carried away into playing fast like the opponent is. If we got here, that would be marvellous. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. If we can get here. Ah, he's blocked it off. Suddenly seeing the magic. Ooh, okay, hit the knight. He's blocked it off. All these pawns. Hungry for them, but I can't get in. Could go here and doubles the pawns. Could go here, he just hits us again, but we can go back again. Take his knight off the board, double the pawn in front of the king. And we could come and attack this pawn with the rook, couldn't we? Let's take this knight off the board. Uh, so it gives us time to get away. Let's bring the knight back down now. Let's bring a rook here. Set oh, he's on a he's on a he's on a mission. He's preventing us from getting our stuff off, which is really quite unusual because this wasn't like they played in the first game, and they're playing quick as well. So if we stop the knight from jumping to these squares, or do we attack the bishop? I'm going to attack the bishop. Can squeeze here if need be, I think. It's just going to drop the pawn though, isn't it? Let's just get here anyway. And we do have a fork on the rook and the bishop. If he pushes down. The poor dark square bishop's not, it's not allowed to play. It's bad bishop. Do have this pawn with a check as well, just in case. Check. Come here, tuck in the rook, tuck in this pawn. That's probably better than tucking this one. And they've left the game. Well, for now, they've got a few seconds to go. So this one was a bit <clears throat> a bit frantic. They came out with oh let's see the back on. Back on. It's coming with a killer move now. Yeah, there we go. It's coming with a killer move. It's got a fork on our rooks. So we've got a check on his king. King either moves here or moves there. So I think we move the rook first. Well, it's gonna have to be this rook. But does it make a difference because it's going to come here and get a check on our king anyway? And the rook can't come here because the bishop is protecting that square. So he could still go there anyway because the bishop is protecting the square. So if we move this rook to protect, he can still jump here and get this rook. So I, don't, I would have to just take his knight off the board. Yeah, shifty little rematches. Oh, could just attack their bishop. He's gonna get my rook. Check. Moves down. Check on the rook. 
because he's getting our rook anyway. He moves the rook. Take put on his other rook. I think we're gonna go with that. Might as well. Put the check <clears throat> put the check on. Swing around attack their rook because they're getting our rook. After they have to make one move to then be able to get it. So he's moved his rook out of the way, going to take and attack this rook. So he's now on our rook. So we're going to take. So it almost feels like I've not equalized, but um, what, what's it showing? Plus four. Oh, there we go. Right. <laughs> so we're plus one out of that based on our findings and calculations. So I'm going to attack this pawn because it's got no protection. This pawn's got no protection. The bishop's going to be moving. But it's not. So now we need to get our bishop into the game. And I'm going to attack their bishop. Because our poor bishop, you know, is stuck behind the pawns. Oh, that's nice. Let's take this bishop. So this is one of those horrendous end games that nobody likes to play. Let's just get the king up. He's got pawn majority-ish on this side. And we've got pawn majority on that side. So I think if I get my king across and help these pawns out gives it a bit of balance maybe let's get this king out of the way support from the pawn we could swing around and attack this pawn he's gonna have this we take then his rook's gonna be coming around attacking our king here we take might be some sort of okay business for us there so let's just bring this across this is getting in exciting so we could put a check on or we could take. He comes down, takes. We push up and just block with the pawn. King could come down and protect. So if the king comes down to protect the pawn. Does he hit me? Then we hit. And then his rook takes. Then we push back up. Why does my clock look like it's going fast? <laughs> I'm going to bring the king down and just block and um, protect the pawn. See what happens. He, he could just do that, so then I take and then he takes anyway. So we're on four minutes, they're on seven. Oh, they've gone back and defended. So if we hit the pawn, head of the snake, and see what happens. Shall we bring the pawn out to the wide, or shall we keep the pawn here so that it's protecting against these? I, I'm actually going to take with the king and then just bring the king back bring it across so we still have the threat of capture or putting a check on the king what's happening so let's capture shall we maybe he's coming here to block the king from supporting the pawns let's put the check on the king if he attacks then we can take this pawn oh he does as well so we'll take this pawn and they've resigned see there is a resign button they want another rematch i'm not sure because they started kicking in some stuff Okay, second rematch. I'm not doing any more after this because they started to bump up the skills a little bit in that last one. So let's see what craziness they're going to come out with now. Oh, pretty similar to the first one, isn't it? So we're just going to look to see if we'll get the queen off. Maybe he doesn't exchange the queen this time. And does something a bit different. Oh, he knows. Same stuff. All right. Not, that's not the same though. That is not the same. Let's bring the bishop here. Usually the knight comes, attacks the pawn, doesn't it? He's putting some serious thought into these moves now. I think my coffee's cold, right?
I don't mind doing this doubling pawns in the center. Computer does not like it whatsoever. I'll actually just bring in the pawn here then. I won't do it. And shall we take? Get two pawns in the center or something. It looks a bit neat now, doesn't it? Just bring the knight through, supporting the pawn. This looks like very basic chess, doesn't it? And castle on the queen side. Just push the pawn, just supporting the pawn. Push the pawn, hitting the bishop. It is actually blocking our white square bishop, but it's a very bad bishop is this we've got. <laughs> Shall we give our king some company with it? And just sit it here, because it's not it's not gonna do a right lot really. Until they start hitting the head of the snake. Now the knight's looking to get the dark squares attacking the bishop. So we could push this pawn just to stop that off. Poor rooks haven't got any files to open with, so we're thinking they're going to be trying to open up this um, file here. I mean, they don't have to, they could be looking to target down here and stuff. This or this. Because they, well, obviously not that one then, because the knight's blocking the area. Attack the bishop. Baiting the pawn. No, let's attack the pawn. So it gives them something to think about. The oh, they've given me this. They've given me that. Deary me. They did move there a bit quick, but maybe they didn't see it. And now it's he hasn't moved any of the rooks. I'm gonna do this one, get it in the corner. move the king although he does have a knight and a rook and if I had a knight and a rook I think I prefer to have the knight and the rook against two flat rooks I think we've shown that in a previous game haven't we um, so I cannot I will not think that I am winning here just because I've got two flat rooks at all should we attack this pawn and then his knight comes and just defends, doesn't it? So shall we go here instead? Uh, let's go here. So at least it's a defensive move rather than an attacking move. So if we went there, it would be an attacking move. But then I suppose we could go here, but he's still defending the pawn. Yeah, let's just get this rook here and then that's a bit of an issue for them. different ways of operating but it's not over yet but see the king needs to start doing some oh and they've left the game uh no that's it now i'm done no more rematches